Hi, everybody. Welcome to the 11th or 12th, I don't know what episode this is, episode of Models and Movies. And today I am very honored to have somebody back with me. She is the first person to come back, so she was not scared away. This is the extremely talented and lovely uh, Sam Mathias. Hello. And uh, you actually asked to come back. I did, yes. Today we watched a movie, and that movie is a Serbian film. This is, this is a film about a puppeteer who descends into madness after his, one of his creations he falls in love with. Actually, that's not the movie we watched. Uh, what did no, we watch? They, um, we reviewed Beaster Day, a.k.a. Beaster Bunny, and a.k.a. What was the other one? Cotton, here comes Cotton here, Hell. Here comes Peter Cotton Hell. Here comes Peter Cotton Hell. Beaster Day. Beaster Day, which... Sounds kind of weird. Before we get into Beast today, <laughs> we are going to do beer of the show. Ah, yes, my favorite part. And <laughs> we are going to be drinking something called Viking Blood. Yes. Viking Blood. Uh, now, this is, it's a mead. It's mm -hmm. not a beer or a, or anything like that. Uh, what did you say it was? How much alcohol is in here? 19%. Uh, For those of you keeping track at home, that's 38 proof. That is a, uh, that is a strong, <laughs> that is a, ooh. I'm gonna let you pour your own yeah. because you can have as little or as much as you want. Yeah, we have decided to drink out of the skulls of our, of our enemies. From the new Indiana Jones movie. Mm-hmm, it's Crystal Skull, I see yeah. what you did there. Mm -hmm. I didn't see that movie, did you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Sam? Mm-hmm. Fuck the Amish, is fuck, that it? Fuck the Amish. <laughs> Fuck the Amish, man. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll explain. <laughs> oh my god. I taste a lot of honey. My gums hurt. Already? <laughs> this is dangerous. Mm. It's like drinking liquefied honey. So by the end of this review, it's gonna get ugly. Oh boy. So let's talk about Beaster Day. <laughs> oh boy. Here comes Peter Cotton Hill. Sam, mm -hmm. what is the plot of Beaster Day? Where do we start? <laughs> so, uh, the plot? Yeah, the plot. It's a giant sock puppet <laughs> with an actual animal skull on it that roams this little small town in Virginia mm -hmm. and rampages and Mostly eats in the people. forest. Yeah, mostly in the forest where I guess everybody well, does it lives. eat people? It more like crunches them and turns them into little flying body parts. Yeah, it really just dismembers people. There's really no plot to this movie, actually. There, that's where I was going <laughs> with it. That's where I was hoping we would go. And uh, I guess we're going to have to talk about the characters and the plot kind of simultaneously because mm -hmm. it won't make sense otherwise. Yeah, this movie. So movie. there's uh, a main character, uh, Justin Long. Not Justin Long. Doug and Williams, right? Doug Williams. Doug Williams. Doug Will I actually wrote that down. He looks like Justin name? Long? Doug Williams. Yep. Doug Williams. The yep. actor looks exactly like Justin Long. A lot of people died in this movie, and you didn't even really understand who they were. Anyway, mm -hmm. this guy was a pretty good actor, and he reminded me very much of Paul Rudd. Mm -hmm. He was a spot-on Paul Rudd. He even had the same haircut. Yeah, I'll show you a quick little scene here of his of his delivering his lines. It's, it was really good. I knew this day would come. I knew my dad would eventually divorce my mom and get remarried because he's a scumbag. I uh, just saw mom last week. Uh, she, I saw her at the day's end. She's doing just fine. Hope you'll be happy about that. And it gave me some hope that this movie was not going to be a total shitbag. Nope. It started off good and then it went, phew. It went down fast. Like a prom date. Oh. Are you going to just spill that everywhere? Great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's an Easter egg hunt with popcorn. Yeah. Let's talk about uh, not Justin Long. So yeah. he is a dog catcher. He's a dog catcher that works at... Um, you wrote this down? Dog catcher and the rye. Yes, that very famous book by E.E. E. Cummings. Wait, no, by what? Um, <laughs> I don't know. You're supposed to read it in high school. I didn't. I never read it. I was home. J.D. Salinger. J.D. So. Salinger, I believe. <laughs> okay, so Justin Long is the head dog catcher, or what he thinks is he's the best dog catcher, in yeah. a pool of maybe 12 or 15 dog catchers. A lot of dog catchers. I think it's the main job in that little town. Uh, so they were having this meeting, and yeah. um, they were giving away prizes or, or trophies. Trophies to the best dog catchers this year. We got three positions. Third, second, first. And 
Unfortunately, not Justin Long only got second he second was, place. Yeah, second place. Uh, who got first place? Um, not Pedro. Hector. Hector. Hector, yeah, Hector. Hector was his name. He was always wearing a hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hats were really important in this movie. Yeah, like there they, was a lot of hats in the making of this movie. Always wore their dog catcher hats. Yeah. Let's uh, <laughs> let's talk about um, the other the other characters in this movie yes. since the plot is non-existent. Did we ever get that girl's name? I forget. Uh, girl. Girl. She's artist. There is a main girl character, and she is a failed artist, a failed um, actor. Oh well. She wants to be a poet now, but she's a failed actor. She's, she's about a, to be a failed poet. About to be a failed poet. Um, I'm surprised she's not a failed model yet. <laughs> no, she's a failed model. <laughs> uh, so she's ready to come back home to this small town and, yes. and live with her father, who is and remarried to some dominatrix hottie. Yeah, yeah her, her stepmom, which she teases him with bacon on a fishing line string while mm. he wears a bunny off it with a hole cut in the back of it. We'll show you that scene momentarily. This movie is ridiculous. So weird. Oh, but she mm -hmm. decides to take a job at the dog catcher place because, you know, why not? One more dog catcher. It doesn't really take her very much long to get the job. Well, I'll tell you what. Can you put on a hat? I guess. You're hired. See you tomorrow. Fuck. Being a girl. Tits. Tits. Which, actually, there's a lot of tits in this movie. There's some great tits in this movie. It is and the star of the movie. It co-stars with ass. Yeah. Ass and boobs. Boobs? How do you say it? Boobs. 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 Cartman from South Park. Boobs. <laughs> I think they shot more than just horror movies, basically. Um, you know what? I bet you you're right. I bet you there's a whole other film out there made from the footage of this movie. That's that what I'm saying. That is definitely not... Definitely not uh, Beaster Day. Yeah, exactly. It's probably so. a little dirtier. You're hired. See you tomorrow. She starts at it and she immediately gets a stalker slash crush. Ma'am? Yeah, hey, whatever. Mm, you're a good one. Who is the main actor guy who, by the way, wears the weirdest pants in this one scene in the movie. <laughs> It's somewhere between um, Van Halen from 1986 and 1970s The Joker. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the the uh, mayor of the town. Oh yeah, what was his name again? His name um, was. I called him Stoner. Oh, that's what I called him too, Stoner Loser. <laughs> I don't remember what his actual name was. It, it, they say it a few times mm -hmm. in the movie. <clears throat> he also the owns uh, an insane asylum. He owns a few things, actually. He's got a wild um, enterprise of safe tools yes. that he's trying to sell. Yeah. Uh, some that are made out of foods. That can slap you in the face with whipped cream. Oh, yeah. Check out my whipped cream sander. <laughs> this is the whipped cream sander. Mm -hmm. That was great. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they were trying to make. Solving world hunger. Come on. I did not watch the movie. <laughs> no, I didn't hear that part. Is that really what he's doing? Yeah, he did oh, say that. Oh, that's cute. How is this going to solve our hunger, Mayor? Mr. Mayor, how is turning food into a wrench going to solve world hunger? It just does, chick. Come on, roll with it, go with it. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, um, there's a lot of throwback to him smoking pot, obviously. I feel like the mayor, the, um, who, the actor who played it, was probably the writer. I think we should let everybody know that, that Sam is not smoking pot out of her vape. That's actual just flavor, at least as far as I know, yeah. as far as you know. <laughs> the only persons that we really even get to, to know is the black sheriff. He's in a few scenes. There's, yeah. there's two black people in this movie. We think. Um, <laughs> we, need, we need to verify and I'll check the credits. There's a different black guy, well, I think. You're not sure. That is... Um, Maybe that is pot. Is that pot in there? No. Oh, okay. um, the other black guy is the sheriff. Yeah, I think it's the same guy. Okay, well, I'll look. <laughs> and you, might, you might be right. He was wearing a disguise. So, <laughs> you might want to cut that part out. <laughs> nah, nothing gets cut out. That's why these things are like 48 minutes this long. This is true. This is true. Sam has asked me to make this 30 minutes or less, and I'm going to try really it hard. It should be we'll see. a little smaller. There's a bunch of carnival goers, mm -hmm. and most of them got credited. Mm -hmm. Oh, Girl with the lollipop? Yeah, girl with the lollipop. Mm -hmm. um, the credits, read the credits when you actually check this out online because they actually credit the people 
just like how they either died or how they presented themselves in the film. And it's still ridiculous. Like It is. Oh, um, is it too early to mention the car scene? It's never too early. Okay, well, there is one scene in this movie. We'll show it to you guys, but... It looks different than some of the other shots that they've done. It's an actual car crash. I Went to an accident scene. I feel like they just ran, they just happened to come across one and they're like, ooh, yes, let's use this because the rabbit is running around the town when the festival takes place and rampaging Jack. It's terrible. So that's great. Um, we really, there's nothing else to talk about the characters. There's not really a no, character. No, I mean, I'm, nobody, I'm looking at my notes right now. Nobody runs through a character arc. Nobody really grows and no. becomes anything. Uh, so let's then, let's just move on to the quality of the film then because. Oh, we don't even need notes for this. Okay. I, no, no, it's fine. I, I wrote some. 16 minutes, boobs. <laughs> that's what I wrote. I wrote boobs and ass. Sarah Silverman is in this movie. Oh, she is. She's the one who didn't know how to run away from things. That's usually so the case. Sarah Silverman is in this film and she's got giant boobs. Natural. And we, they were real, right? Yeah. Natural, yeah. I'm pretty sure she told her brother, I'm not shooting the scene again, okay? <laughs> her brother. It's Virginia. <laughs> Wow, it's not West Virginia. The, the the filming was ridiculous. So this girl's running through the woods, running away from this mm -hmm. incredibly slow moving giant mutant rabbit. Puppet. Puppet. <laughs> oh my God, there was so much wrong with that puppet. Anyway, <laughs> Viking blood. Uh, Cheers. Yes. Fuck the Amish. Fuck the Amish. Fuck the Amish, man. Okay, so the quality of the film. <laughs> it's hit and miss. And I oh, have a theory. Boy. Yes. I let's, have a let's, theory. let's hear the theory. There is a there is one character in this the the, the father yeah. of the of the girl who loves bacon. I believe what happened was they had him for one day or maybe two days, and he came along with a particular production crew yeah. or cameraman or whatever who mm -hmm. owned their own camera. So the few scenes that he's in and they're very good. Mm -hmm. They're they're done well. They're written well. They're acted well, yeah. and they look nice. Mm -hmm. The rest of the film looks like garbage. Yeah, it's kind of like hit or miss. It's like what you mentioned earlier, which yeah. you're getting to. I really feel like that when this guy was done with his scenes, everybody who was with him left also. So they took the cameras, they took the lighting, they took all the things that- They're like, that, peace, yeah. we're out. We gotta make Easter dinner. Pretty much, yeah. And uh, so they had to film the rest of the movie with whatever they could find. iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> All right, so that was bad. The sound. Um, how's the sound? The sound really bugged me. Mm. That was that was a really pet peeve. The sound. Um, not only that, you actually got to see the people holding the boy, boom girl, right? There's a very emotional scene going on when this mm -hmm. when yeah. when not Justin Long is is trying to explain to all his other dog catcher friends that this rabbit is out there this and it's rabbit killing must people. Must be stopped. Must be stopped. Yeah. It's the apocalypse, but there's no four horsemen. It's a giant fucking rabbit. I was running through the woods, breathless, credulous, looking for a pack of wolves. But do you know what I found? A 50 foot cannibal rabbit. In the background, you can see a lot of the production people. Yeah. And very prominently, you see the, the girl there. I believe she's either holding the sound box or holding the actual boom pole. I think pole. she's holding the boom stick. And she's got, <laughs> that's, that's Army of Darkness. So. <laughs> I like um, to call it a boom stick. It's a great this movie. This is my boom stick. This is my boomstick. <laughs> um, you've seen that movie, right? You know what I'm talking Fuck about? Yeah, I've there seen you that go. movie. Good. Okay, I'm not just falling on deaf ears. Um, but she's actually wearing the headphones in the background. She's. I mean, you can literally see the production going on in this scene. You, you, there's actually it's somebody amazing. that's like this. I feel like I saw one scene where this guy was like reading the script mm -hmm. as he's talking. Like, this is some good shit. Come on, this is great acting. Let me hear it. Which, in a way, proves that there was a script. Yeah, <laughs> which was kind of scary. Because we weren't sure up until that point. I, I want to talk about the editing of this film. Oh boy. It was really confusing at, yeah. at, in a lot of parts. Like mm -hmm. in some of the editing, editing it was so good that yeah. I could not tell if the scene was done with three or four different cameras all at the same time and they just sort of jumped back and forth. You see this napkin? Yeah, Dad, I see the napkin. It's a napkin, what's it for? It's to wipe my face, right? But with a little compromise, I can take the napkin and I can make it into a hat to keep the rain off my head. 
with a little more compromise, I can take the napkin and I can make it into a, a paper airplane. How's that? Or if it was done traditionally where you do one setup and then you move stuff and do the other setup and I ask the, the actors to do all their same movements and, and stuff. I think it kind of ties into people beginning of the movie where they had the better equipment mm. and then they just were like, okay, peace, we're out. Congratulations. Uh, for what? Dog catcher of the year. <laughs> well, doesn't everyone get it uh, their first year? No. I'll agree with you because mm -hmm. It was those scenes that that older guy was in yeah. that were mm -hmm. so good. So yeah. I'm thinking that the crew came in with their three camera setups they knew and what stuff they were like doing, that. They, knew they what had they were experience, doing. and yeah. So and then there were other scenes where there was editing, where there was a guy crouching near a tank, and then he started to run, and then bam, he's like in the middle of the woods. Yeah, yeah. Which and honestly, it's not really that surprising because it's Virginia. Mm. And it looked like he was on like a fort, not like a military fort, but near it. It's like a sure, museum. It's, it's fine to have an element in your shot, but <laughs> when you're making like a scene where it's supposed to go from one place to another, if you don't have a transition shot to get no, there. No, the transition shots were non-existent in this movie. At least go to a B-roll shot of something no. and then go to there, but. The hmm. B-roll shots were the stock footage that we saw with the nice yes. serenity of the horses. It was pretty. Or it was a naked girl in a fountain. Or that, yeah. That's why I think they, they shoot more than horror movies. I, I, I betcha you're right. Yeah. I betcha. Can we show that scene? Um, I, I'll have to do a lot of black bars. Um, so there was a, okay, so let's, let's talk about the special effects then, because I think that's where we're at. They're yeah, very special. special. <laughs> They're short bus special. They're very special. So the bunny, the bunny is obviously the part that they just said, fuck it. It's, with. A, it's a puppet. It's a puppet. They knew it was a puppet and they knew it looked terrible. Yes. So they just went with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, but I do want to talk about the blood and gore effects. So, yes, they tried. They tried, and I, which is surprising enough, the budget for this film was estimated at a hundred and fifty thousand. Right? If you, I think that's what it said. That's what it said. I think they got sued a hundred thousand, <laughs> and they spent maybe fifty thousand, if that. That could be it. That's that's a, that's a stretch even for this movie. Uh, it just it was just a situation where. They they tried some some clever things with like green screen and double shot type stuff and yeah. the editor whoever put it together the special effects editor it was all the same two guys who yeah. did it but um it it actually looked okay some of them yeah. there were some questionable things like I swear it looks like fruit salad or veggies <laughs> we couldn't decide can we pause it and I'm showing a still of it right now yeah. and I. I don't, she says it's like a pumpkin, it looks, a, a, a big tomato. tomato. It looks like they zoomed into a photo of fruit or veggies and they're like, we don't have enough money or enough care to make like fake guts. So here, I'm pretty sure care that like. you were on the right path there with enough care. They didn't care they enough didn't care. to make it look like an actual human inside. No, or like they that. were just like, here's fruits and veggies. At 40 minutes, we fuck the Amish. Oh yeah. Well, we don't, but fuck the Amish. <laughs> fuck the Amish at 40 minutes. <laughs> Fuck the Amish, man. When one of the guys dies, he's like, um, uh, he's like, is this, what is, what is, what is it? Oh, this is karma for me eating all those chocolate bunnies. We happen to have chocolate bunnies. Yes. So I bought you one and uh, we each have a bunny and we're going to eat our chocolate bunnies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They say that you can tell a lot about a person by how they eat an Easter bunny. Like, what What part did you eat first? The head. I ate the ass first. No. Oh. <laughs> Sam, does this movie work? For what? <laughs> exactly. For, for what? who? <laughs> for who? For, for Viking blood. <laughs> Fuck the Amish. Fuck the Amish. Fuck the Amish, man. I'm going to be so drunk. Okay. He is. He's a lightweight. Mm -hmm. This is going to be funny. All right. Does the movie work? <laughs> <laughs> let's define let's define what this movie is by the way 
<laughs> okay, it is a great movie to watch with friends. <laughs> with friends and alcohol. So yeah, this movie does work if um, you have friends. It's definitely funny. Uh, Sam asked me to stop the film and then I stopped the film on my own a couple times and, and we were just like, what? <laughs> I know, like, we should put in some of those pause moments. I don't even remember half of them. We'll, we'll find because, them. Because, yeah, I'll find them. <laughs> Christ has risen. <laughs> so, how's it going there? Cough, cough. So, you say you believe it works. Yeah. All right. I'll actually agree with you. I think that they, they knew what they were making in yeah. this film. <laughs> so, it's no big surprise to you. But, Sam, <laughs> if you were a regular person, how many... <laughs> alcoholic <laughs> beverages would it take for you person. Yeah, how many uh, alcoholic beverages would it take for you to enjoy this film um i would have to say you would need about a good hard six pack for a this. hard six pack, hard six pack for i this. like the way you put that <laughs> I'm pretty sure I had a hard six pack just in this one <laughs> or one and a mead. half drinks of the mead. By the way, this is called a Viking blood. And you have to spell it with one O. Yes, and 19% alcohol. I will absolutely uh, agree with you, yes. 100%. You need six definite alcoholic beverages. Per person, not with Oh, no, 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 it's not like a, it's no. It's per no. person. You don't share. No, no, no. you share this with... Uh, with a friend in the movie, but you don't share your six pack. You I was just about to say that you definitely, you definitely share this movie with a friend. Yeah, don't, don't share, share your, the beer. Don't share your beer. <laughs> I bet you this movie would be awesome stoned. I mean, like ridiculously oh awesome stoned. You'd probably notice things we didn't even notice that happened in this movie, like catching people in the background. Oh my, Let's give them so an applause. We're we're done. We're done with this stupid film. <laughs> um, thank you. I, Sam, I want to thank you so much for coming back. Cause you're welcome. You're, you're a, you are a delight. <laughs> a delight. And I am drunk. So that is the end of this episode of Models and Movies. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, wait, real quick. Oh. You can find me on Instagram. Fuck! I, I told, <laughs> I do, th no, 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 I do that every single time. I forgot. Um, so let's do that right now. Okay. I will, I'm, I, I'm going to put this in the beginning as well because I fucked up and I'm sorry. <laughs> Sam, where can people find beautiful pictures of you? <laughs> um, it's Miss Samantha Mathias and between the words they're underscores. It's a long Instagram handle, but you'll find me. <laughs> <laughs> also too, um, oh, I shit, did I start a, a vlog. On YouTube? <laughs> yes, on YouTube. So and they I can see your shenanigans and antics? Oh my goodness, yes. It's, it's, it's a travel vlog, so if you'd like to follow me on that as well, it's called The Mermaid and the Crab. Yes, you can find me on The Mermaid and the Crab and Miss Samantha with eyes. It's right there. You can look it up. I'll also have links in the description, and I will come visit you in Jamaica. Yes. She lives near hedonism. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a small island. I live near everything. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to be back with another video very soon. And, uh... Fuck the Amish, man. Fuck the Amish. Fuck the Amish. <laughs> Happy Easter. <laughs>